In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use HTML line breaks to force text onto its own separate line within paragraphs, and we're getting started right now. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from Higher Learning Lab, where we help you get better at coding so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, or for your business. If it's your first time here, make sure you click on the subscribe button and then click on the bell notification icon so you're notified when we publish more awesome tutorials for you. And with that out of the way, let's get into the screen capture of this tutorial. I'll see you there. So I've got a very simple HTML page laid out for you here. There are the codes on the left, the actual pages on the right. And as you can see in the code, I've got an image and I've got text saying this is my paragraph, this is another paragraph, and this is the last paragraph. However, when we look at the page, how it renders, it's all essentially on one line, which is not what we want. So if things like that happen, you can use the line break tag, which is simply open pointy bracket, br close pointy bracket. And it's also written other ways. You might see it sometimes where you have the br space and then a forward slash to denote that it's a self-closing tag. Both ways work. So just pick the one that you like best and use that. And if we refresh this page, we will now see that our paragraph is on the second line. So if we put a br between all of our paragraphs, like this, we will see they're all on their separate lines. Usually paragraphs have a little more space between them, so we're gonna to wanna to add two brs between each one. And now it's looking a little more like paragraphs, even though we're just one sentence, we got the paragraph spacing between each one. And now this, this type of tactic was used back in the early days of HTML4 and CSS2, and it's not the best way to do it. So you only really use line breaks as a last resort. And what you really want to do is take out these line breaks and wrap your text in a paragraph tag, which is just open pointy bracket, the letter P, and then close pointy bracket. This one's not self-closing. So we need to add the closing tag at the end of the paragraph. And then as we see when we save this, there's not much change and all the paragraphs are literally as they should because they have the paragraph tag. So using the right tags at the right times is very important. But that being said, there are instances where you do need a line break tag for whatever reason. So now you know how to use it. And you can use it within a sentence too. So if we wanted, this is another on one line and paragraph on another, we just add the, or the line break tag in there and then we see that it breaks that line. You can do this wherever you want. However, it does affect rendering on mobile. Like where this line break is, that's where it is always. It's it's called a hard break, so it doesn't change position. Whereas if you're having a, if you have a mobile responsive website, you want things to adjust to the size of the the display. Using hard breaks makes that more difficult. So that's why hard breaks are often not recommended to be used. But in case you do need them, now you know how to use them. That's how easy it is to use HTML line breaks in your code, but you have to be careful for responsive designs because this can break things on mobile devices. I hope this video helps you. If you haven't done so yet, click on the subscribe button, then click on the bell notification icon so you're notified when we publish more awesome content, and then click on that card that just appeared in the top right of this video for some awesome resources. And until next time, keep crushing it, and I will see you in the next video.